Our next Gold Award recipient is Lena Reynolds, and she has a few hobbies. Language, travel are among the top, but so is pursuing legislation and dreams, excuse me, plans of becoming a diplomat in the future. Yesterday we were getting to know each other and she told me about that one day when she got a phone call about a law being passed. Not many of us can say that and yet it does not come as any surprise that Girl Scouts are doing more than just pursuing inspiring projects, which alone are incredible, but also making real, tangible, systemic change happening in their communities. From Girl Scouts Heart of Central California to present her Gold Award project, Student Driver Decals, please help me welcome Lena to present her project. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lena Reynolds. I'm 17 years old, and I've been a proud member of the Girl Scouts Heart of Central California for 13 years. My Gold Award project focused on drivers, specifically in California, but more specifically, our students. So um, how many of you in the audience have, remember your first time behind the wheel of a car? Yeah, <laughs> most of us do, um, I do. Um, most of us remember this as one of the craziest and quite possibly scariest times of our lives. So uh, when I was 15 and a half, I got my driver's permit in California. Uh, I was all ready to go out and start driving and I um, began in a driving school car with my driving instructor. And this was a, you know, it wasn't super easy, but it was okay, you know, I wasn't struggling too much. And then the minute I got into my family's car, all confident and ready to go, I found that it was really hard. Drivers were cutting me off, I wasn't, people were honking, they were getting upset. And I realized I was in a really dangerous position, not only for myself, but for my passengers and also for all the drivers around me. So what I decided to do was work with organizations and corporations and build coalitions to create student driver decals such as these. I don't know if you can see them, but here they are. Um, and these are to be placed on the exterior of a student's car in order to warn other drivers around the student that they're a novice and don't understand quite the rules of the road. Um, so I worked with organizations and corporations such as Takeo Graphics, the Sacramento Ad Club, Girl Scouts, Impact Teen Drivers, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, to not only design and produce these decals, but to get them into the hands of students all over the, my region. Um, so I conducted some surveys through Impact Teen Driver, and I realized that students really enjoyed these decals. They found that they had a much easier and safer time on the road. And so this really powered me to keep going, and I knew that I could get them into the hands of more people other than in my small region. So I decided to pursue statewide legislation to require the Department of Motor Vehicles in California to, to have these student driver decals available when a student obtains their permit. So I started walking the halls, uh, trying to get an assembly member to pick up my bill and to introduce it in the, next, in the legislative session. I was trying for two, about two years um, to get this passed because it's a, it's, a, it's a process. And after two sessions, Assemblymember Kansen Chu from San Jose, California introduced AB Assembly Bill 2322 uh, that would require DMV to uh, have these student driver decals available. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So it moved pretty quickly. It, um, one of the most exciting parts of my project was definitely being able to testify before the uh, Assembly Transportation Committee. And on that day, I can see a picture, it's uh, right there on the corner. Um, on that day, I was able to watch the bill pass through that committee on a unanimous bipartisan vote. And that was very fun for me. <laughs> Thank you. So the bill moved through the, um, you know, through the legislature, and it is uh, currently waiting in the Senate to be modified, um, hopefully next session, uh, due to cost reasons, but we're hoping to get those all ironed out <laughs> um, and have it move on. Um, so I could not have done any of this without the help of people such as yourselves you know, in Girl Scouts. It has just improved my life you know, so much. I, I've learned so much from it. They gave me the tools to grow and to be a leader. And now that I've done this, I feel like I can do a lot of things. And what I want girls to know is, you know, I don't only want them to be safe behind the wheel of a car for six months, I also want them to know that they have a voice in our government. 
And Girl Scouts has given me the tools to use my political voice. And I know that other girls, millions of girls around the world, are getting the same tools, tool, toolkit to take this on and to really make a positive change on our world. Um, I'd also like to thank my parents, they're wonderful, and my mentor, Janet, and everyone at the Capitol, everyone, all the corporations and Girl Scouts that helped me throughout my project. Um, it's been amazing, and thank you so much for supporting so many girls um, on their journey. And I know that being a Gold Award recipient and the recipient of the National Young Women of Distinction Award will propel me through the rest of my life and inspire me. All my, the stories of my fellow Young Women of Distinction have inspired me beyond belief, and I know that that'll carry me to the rest of my life. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.